What is going on guys? What is going on 27 squad? Welcome back in to another video and I wish I had a better video to post for you guys but um, we're going to be talking about the DeAndre Baker case and a lot of you guys really want my updated feelings on the case. I went on the Hubs channel last night and I kind of gave my thoughts and they were basically more reactionary than anything. Uh, as far as we see with the new evidence coming out, um, I'm starting to lean towards DeAndre Baker a little bit more. And I'm a very skeptical person. I'll just say that right off the bat. I am a very skeptical person. I may jump to more conclusions than I should, but I definitely always put everything into perspective. That being said, let's talk about the new statements, the new evidence that, are, that is coming out. Not, not so to speak evidence yet because there is no evidence on it. It's just a claim or a statement. So here's what we know right now about DeAndre Baker. You guys know what happened in the past. We don't need to get into that. He's on a $200,000 bond right now until his case um, is closed. He's not able to leave Florida right now. You guys know he supposedly stole about $70,000 worth of jewelry, uh, watches, and things like that. Got away in some luxurious cars as far as that's what the warrant says along with Quentin Dunbar, but they're both pleading for their innocence. So let's jump in right now of the new statements that are coming out from DeAndre Baker's lawyer. And uh, quickly, I want to um, kind of clarify why DeAndre Baker didn't turn himself in sooner. I, I know a lot of people have been talking about that. If he's really innocent, why didn't he turn himself in sooner? Well, if you got to imagine if you're put in that situation, I don't think you guys would be running to the police and saying, I'm innocent, I'm innocent, I'm innocent. You would definitely contact your lawyer. You would definitely go through all your options. You would definitely see how you could approach this in the best way to not seem that you are a suspect or uh, that, that you have done this. So I, I understand why DeAndre Baker did not turn himself into the police after being framed. I'm not saying that he was framed. I'm not going to convict the guy yet, yet. I was singing a different tune in the hubs. Uh, live yesterday, I said that I think he did do it, but I'm not going to convict him of that until we have evidence that he did do it. But now I'm starting to actually feel like he did not do it. Um, so here are the recent claims. The recent claims is that, that DeAndre Baker brought his console to this residence of where this, uh, barbecue was happening, this get together. And apparently that this get together was full of notable names that were exchanging autographs and things like that and having a get together and DeAndre Baker was going to be that guy uh and Quentin Dunbar you know the big name guys over there and uh they're supposed to just have fun and and get along or whatever it is um and so DeAndre Baker apparently brung his console I don't know if it was a PS4 or an Xbox uh, but brought his console, hooked it up, was playing Madden, and apparently they're able to prove that he was signed in to his account. But that, I don't know if this guy really understands how these games work, but that really doesn't prove anything. Even if he does have evidence that he was signed into the account, um, I guess they can get the address there, but you really can't prove what exactly they were playing at the time they were playing it and who even had the controller. Even if you get past all those steps, um, you can't really de decipher who had the controller at the time, uh, because you could, anybody could be signed into account. I could be signed onto my account and give the, the controller to my friend. He's playing it on my account. Um, so. Um, I, I don't, that's not really good enough. I don't think that's going to stand in the court of law. That's just something, I guess they're just reaching into their pocket and finding anything they could really try to prove his innocence here. And this, this, this here really shows desperation, man, that they're trying to prove their innocence based off an Xbox uh, sign in. But their evidence, uh, the, the claim is that he brought his Xbox or PS5 or PS4, um, or whatever, and he was signed in and was playing Madden in another room than when the robbery took place. As you guys know or read in articles, that the, uh, the robbery took place when Baker flipped a table all over, uh, in playing an illegal dice game. Uh, but apparently there was no illegal dice game being played. And I, I assume there was a robbery that did take place, but Baker was in another room and he was playing Madden. Now, as far as if Quentin Dunbar was involved with that, I'm not too sure yet. I'll have to look into that. But as far as DeAndre Baker goes, he was in there. And I'm sure he's not playing by himself in a room, locked in a room by himself. He's got to have, a, a, you know, witnesses, crowd. Um, and as far as the witnesses goes, there's people on one side saying that 
you know, he did do it. And there's people on the other side saying that he didn't do it. And I'm, I'm hearing now that they're recanting statements. So you don't know what to believe. You don't know if there's any bribery coming on as well. Um, so it's very, very, very back and forth. It's very, it's going to be very hard to decipher. It's very going to be very hard to really put your finger on where you want to go as far as your opinion is. We really have to see if more evidence comes out. But apparently there was not even an, an illegal dice game being played. There was no gambling going on. And DeAndre Baker was in another room, I assume, with other witnesses in that room playing Madden. And it was his own console. And he was signed into that console playing Madden. Now, in, in some statements, it also says um, that that Baker's Xbox or Baker's console is still there at the residence. And if that is true then that will help their statements a little bit um, because I don't know why you would rob a place but bring your console there. It kind of seems very self, you know, contradictory, especially if he successfully robbed these people and left, fled the scene and left his console behind with the Madden game inserted still in there. That would be so contradicting to a robbery, and that I think that would help his case. Just logically, again, that's, there's no evidence presented in that, but any logical person would really think that you're not going to rob a place of somebody else's values, that your own possessions are in that place still, and you supposedly successfully robbed that place and fled the scene. So, apparently, apparently uh, his console is still there, and I guess that's going to be used as evidence. Uh, as far as the sign-ins and things like that and, and, and where the Xbox is placed. I'm just going to call it an Xbox because I keep saying console and Xbox. But I'm just going to call it an Xbox. Um, you know, wherever wherever it is, that's definitely going to take a hold too. Because if it's in a living room or whatever it is, then that doesn't help his statements too much because that's in the same area. But if it's in another room, a bedroom, another living room, uh, then where it, take, where it took place, um, that, that, that can help his statements. And... Um, one, one question I do have, if, if the Xbox is there at the residence, the articles are saying that these are guys that he usually doesn't hang out with and he doesn't really know too well. So why would you even bring your console over there? Um, I don't know why I, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't go to some stranger's house, some guy I don't know, some people I don't know and bring my console over there for every, everybody to play. That's just me. But as far as we know right now, the, the recent claim, it's not, there's no evidence on it yet, but the recent claim is that Baker brought his console, it's still at the residence, and they were playing Madden, he was signed in, and they're going to try to get their, the best evidence they can of him being signed in. Uh, so that is the recent statements right now, guys. I'll try to keep you updated as much as you can, as much as I can, but I don't know. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Uh, I want to know your thoughts, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Woo!